This video will be explaining how to sign up for Schoology and introduce some features to help you feel more comfortable using the website. We're first going to make an example account, customize it, and then explore the website. Please go to Schoology.com. Once you're on the website, on the right, go to Sign Up and click on Student. The access code should be provided by your teacher or it might be available on your course's syllabus. Here's an example access code. Once you've entered the access code, it's going to ask you for some personal information. If my name is Kim Suji, my first name is Suji, and my last name is Kim. Make sure to capitalize the first letters of your name. Then go ahead and enter your email address. and password, birthday, click on this box, and then register. Make sure you have signed up for the correct course by checking the title and the section number. If you already have a Schoology account, then you just have to sign in and click on Join a Course and enter the access code here for your class. Now that we have made an account, we're going to customize it. Please go to your name on the right and click on your profile. It's helpful for the teacher if you add a photo of your face. Please go ahead and add a photo to your account. Now go to your course and on the right side click on notifications. There are five notifications here. Schoology will send you an email depending on which boxes you check. Click on the boxes that you want to receive emails about. then click on Save Changes. Okay, now we're going to explore the website. You're going to see here a few tabs, Materials, Updates, Grades, Attendance, and Members. We're first going to look at the materials. Here, your teacher will upload any material for the course. Let's click on Week 1. Here's an example syllabus that you can look at or download, a quiz, and an assignment. Let's check out the quiz. If you take a quiz, here's one example of what it might look like. You'll see the grade here on the right side. Let's check out the assignment. During the course, your teacher might require you to submit an assignment. You're going to click on the right button here and here you can choose to either upload or create or your resources. Uh, the simplest one is to just upload a file. So click on this little folder, click on your file, and then submit. However, try to avoid submitting HWP files. Generally, we accept doc files or PDF. Schoology, for some reason, doesn't like HWP files. Okay, now you know how to look at a document, finish a quiz, and assignments. I'm sure you're curious about your grades, so let's go directly to grades. Here you're going to see the breakdown percentage for the course. Here's grade for the quiz, and this assignment has not been graded yet. 
If the teacher comments on your assignment, you should be able to see it here. Okay, let's go to updates. If a teacher needs to make an announcement for the class, you'll find it under updates here. Some teachers use the attendance tab and you'll be able to see it here, but many teachers do not. If you want to know your attendance, I recommend contacting the teacher. Finally, members. You'll see a list of all the members in your class. You'll be able to send a message to them directly if you have a question. If you have any other questions related to Schoology, please don't hesitate to contact your instructor.